x divided by x minus 1 squared is a quotient of two functions. So to find its derivative, we need the quotient rule, which I've written here. The derivative of f divided by g is f prime g minus g prime f all divided by g squared. To apply this rule, we must identify f, our function in the numerator, and g, our function in the denominator. It's clear in this case that the function in the numerator, which we call f of x, is x, and the function in the denominator, which we call g of x, is x minus 1 squared. So now we can go ahead and apply the quotient rule. To find the derivative of x divided by x minus 1 squared, we begin with f prime g. That's the derivative of the numerator multiplied by the denominator. The numerator is x, and its derivative is 1. Multiply that by the denominator, and we get our first term here, just x minus 1 squared. Then we must subtract g prime f. g prime is the derivative of the denominator, and I'll just leave that there for right now, the derivative of x minus 1 squared. And then we have to multiply that by f f is the function in the numerator, and that is x, so we multiply by x. Then divide by g squared, that's the denominator, squared. x minus 1 squared, squared, is x minus 1 to the power of 4. All right, continuing with the calculation, if you happen to know the chain rule, then you can use that to take this derivative very easily. If not, then we're going to have to expand this so that we can use the power rule. x minus 1 squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1, and so this is what we need to take the derivative of in the numerator. And the power rule makes that straightforward enough. The derivative of x squared is 2x, the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So we have this. This is our derivative, but there is still more work we can do to simplify. For starters, x minus 1 squared is the same as x minus 1 times x minus 1. And with this term on the right, we could factor a 2 out of these parentheses. Taking that 2 out leaves x minus 1 in the parentheses. Now you see that both of these terms in the numerator have a factor of x minus 1. So we can factor that factor of x minus 1 out. That leaves one factor of x minus 1 in the term on the left, and on the right we're just left with minus 2x. Now we see that we have an x minus 1 in the numerator and plenty of x minus 1s in the denominator, so let's cancel a pair of those out. Canceling this x minus 1 out with one of these x minus 1s makes the power in the denominator become 3. We've canceled out one of those four factors. In the numerator, we're just left with this in the square brackets, and part of this is x minus 2x. x minus 2x is minus 1x. So we see minus 1x, and of course we still have that minus 1. The last thing we might want to do is just take this negative in the numerator out in front of the fraction. Thus we have the negative there, and now we have x plus 1 in the numerator. You can see if we distributed that negative back through, we'd have negative x minus 1 just as before. But that is about as simple as we're going to get this derivative. So that's how to use the quotient rule to find the derivative of x over x minus 1 squared, and some of the steps we can take to simplify our final answer. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.